Nice. <laughs> All right, Hickok 45, Chapter 2. We knew there were some bad guys out here made of steel. We had to come out and get them. All right, we got the CX-4 Storm, and we're going to shoot at some. Not much talking, a little rainy day, so never stops us, especially when we have a little porch here we can uh, shoot from. Let's see what we can pop. Look what the plates look like from here. Ha, nice. I like that. Uh oh. Somebody put some pots on the shooting table. Should I take a chance? Why not? Why not? <laughs> This is pretty neat, uh, the CX-4 Storm, nifty little carbine, you've seen it a few times now, and uh, it is a T&E test and evaluation gun from Beretta. We appreciate them letting us use it, uh, we really do, and uh, it, it, it's been fun to shoot, and I've enjoyed it. I've got a lot of Beretta magazines, and picked up several just because I knew we'd be getting this, and we've pretty much shown you how it breaks down and works. The one thing I didn't show you was the rail here, I'm going to do that. One advantage of doing a chapter two, other than giving me a chance to shoot some more, is you know that you push the button there and that slides out, so you can attach uh, a, a laser, a uh, flashlight, toaster, whatever you want to under that. Okay, pretty handy. And uh, and as I've been saying, I like this gun pretty well. It's a it's a nifty little gun, no doubt about. It. I'm shooting mostly 124 grain ammo today for a change. Uh, Got tired of all the 115 and went ahead and ordered uh, some uh, 124 American Eagle. Okay, so except for one magazine, I'm not sure which one it is, was loaded with uh, 115 grain. It had uh, been previously loaded, I, I discovered. But most of it, almost all of it, except for that one mag, is 124 grain. All right, so it's probably a little bit warmer than that UNC stuff. So let's put our ears back on. I think my glasses are trying to fog up a little bit. What do we want to try? Let's try that red plate out there. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's a nifty little gun. Uh, well, hate to knock the animals over in the mud, but we're going to do it. Tough guys. Get the 4570 out. <laughs> More ammo. All right. This is like hunting. We shoot through the leaves here a little bit. <laughs> Let's try that little disc there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't see through the leaves there too well. Let's get those old turkeys. Oh, nice. This is a fun gun, I have to say. Really fun gun. Shoots right on, I tell you. Yeah, I mean, if I miss, I'm just shooting too fast. I see that little bitty piggy over there. Oh, it says left his bowling pins. Let's see if I can get a sight on him. All right. I guess that knocked, there's a clay pot here beside him. I guess that knocked him off, didn't it? All right, let me try that plate again, okay. And Mr. Gong. 
<laughs> I don't know what to do. Let's put a few on the gong. I don't know what the visual's like in this uh, weather and the rain. Maybe the bullets show up a little more. Who knows? I'll put a few on him. I don't need to rest. I don't get the habit of doing that. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Sweet sound of steel. I love it. I love it. This is a pretty cool gun. Uh, one of the few criticisms of it has been just the price, you know. And I don't know how our lighting is here, if you can see it okay, but, uh, you know, that uh, I think it's hard to find somebody, really. There aren't many comments uh, since we've been showing it that have been negative other than the price. You know, it's not an inexpensive gun. And, uh, you know, it's a Beretta. Uh, it's like the Beretta 92, and most of the Berettas are... Uh, they're not expensive, expensive, or they're not, they're not cheap, no doubt about that. It uh, really is a cool gun. One thing John and I have noticed about this gun, we're not sure we know why. When uh, I was doing the comparison with the other day with the uh, carbine versus the uh, pistol velocity, I forgot to put my ears on, you couldn't see it in the video, when I was shooting it over the chronograph, and I almost didn't notice it. Uh, and we've noticed shooting this, it's not as loud as I think the Colt. I mean, it's kind of weird. It's like a 22 long rifle. Now, you don't want to shoot without ears, but there's just uh, something about it. I what it would be. Surely the polymer uh, wouldn't make that much difference because uh, the sound mostly comes from the bullet leaving the barrel. I don't know. Oh, well. Uh, let's see here. What do we want to pick on? Let's work on those uh, pots there a little bit more. No, I'm not going to shoot my shooting table. <laughs> I better not get any closer though than that. Oh, we have some more uh, two liters down here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and there's a Coke can. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Pretty sweet. One thing I was going to mention too, I have noticed, you know, when you have a 9mm carbine, you just want to shoot. You want to cut it loose, don't you? Oh, uh, with this gun, let me verify that, make sure I'm not dreaming. I'm going to shoot at the barrel over there, just pull it around. Okay, that's about as fast as I can shoot this gun. I'll do it again. It's uh, well, it's empty now, so it's hard to shoot fast <laughs> or slow. But I, I can't get it to, to, to fire really, really fast. Uh, there's, it's, there's like a, a, it's like there's a governor on the trigger or something. It's, uh, it's difficult to just really smoke with it. You know, you, those of you who shoot a lot, you know, you get a nine millimeter, especially. You can just boom, 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 you know, when you're feeling good, get your finger moving right. Uh, with this gun and the reset, it, it doesn't allow for that very much, okay? So if that's what you like most in a 9mm carbine, you won't like this, you know? And I kind of miss that. If I were to buy this, and I don't know that I will, I, I like it. If it were, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's just, again, it's, it's kind of pricey. I really like it, and I'll just have to look at it. But, uh, it's uh, it's too bad you can't machine gun it. Not frustrating, but you know, just used to that. Uh, it just slows you down a little bit when you try again here down close. Now, as far as practical shooting and being able to hit anything, it's not a problem. I'll go across there, start with the cowboy. Acquiring targets and popping them as fast as you can acquire them is not a problem. It's just a matter of trying to, to cut loose and like you won't see this gun in a full auto video, you know, one of our pseudo full auto videos, <laughs> I don't think. It'd be a little embarrassing. 
So, pretty neat. You know, I've got another magazine. So, let's just shoot a couple more. Can't resist. All right. Ooh. Sweet. Please don't hate me because I can shoot off my front porch. You know, uh, it is nice. It is nice though. Uh, we are glad to be able to get this gun out and play with it on a rainy day like this. So anyway, the CX4 Storm Chapter Two. Wanted to shoot some more uh, before we uh, send it back or make a decision on it. And again. Uh, my evaluation of this gun is, is, is positive. It's hard for me to find a gun I don't like. I know uh, if they work well and they are what they're supposed to be. And uh, again, the trigger is my and, and the price of it. Well, the trigger is fine as far as shooting it. Uh, you can't just cut them loose, like I said. And uh, it's a little pricey, but uh, it, it's it's a sweet gun. Looks like something from Star Wars, as I've said. It looks too small for me, but it, it fits okay and is a great little shooter. Uh, to me, this is a great little camp carving, and it'd be cool in some other calibers, no doubt about that. So, uh, from Beretta, the CX-4 Storm, we've had fun with it, and uh, it all just adds up to making life really good. Life is good.